Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a slider using Sketchpad 5. So to start, let's talk about what a slider is. Here we have a segment AB and a point C that sits on the segment. When I drag point C, its value ranges all the way from 0 to 10. By contrast, when I drag point F, its value ranges from 0 to 100, but all the values that I'm shown are integers. So let's see how to make these, and it's really quite simple. I'll start by drawing a segment. I'll then put a point on the segment, and now I'm going to go to the measure menu and choose value of point. So I get that C on AB is equal to 0 0.22. Now let's see what that means. So as I drag C from A, its value is 0, all the way to B where its value is 1. So I've associated each location of point C along AB with a value between 0 and 1. So if I want a slider that ranges from 0 to 1, well, great, I have it right here. But let's say I'd like my slider to have values that range from, say, 0 to 10. So since currently my value ranges from 0 to 1, I'm going to multiply that value by 10. So I'll go to the number menu and choose Calculate, and that brings up my calcul calculator here. And I'm going to compute 10 times, and then I'll click directly on C on AB to add it to my calculation, and click OK. And now I have this new calculation, which if I check its values, range from 0 all the way to 10. So that's nice. So let's say I'd like to use this slider for something. I'm going to use it in particular to take this value and make it the slope of a line. So I'm going to give this a better name than 10 times C on AB. I'll use my text tool to call it M instead. And now I am going to go to the number menu and choose new function. And my function will be M times X. There's my function. And I'm going to then go to the graph menu and plot my function. And there it is. And now if I drag point C, I can see the effect that my slope has on the appearance of the line. So that's a nice simple example of how to create and use a slider. Now in the example that I showed you before, we also had a slider whose values only took on integer values. So let's see how I made that. So here's what I did back on page 3, where I made a slider that ranged from 0 to 10. And now if I'd like this to only have the values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc., all the way up to 10, um, I'll double click on this to bring up my calculator. And I will go to my functions over here and choose the truncate function. And what that does is it truncates my value, uh, so it takes off and lops off the decimal portion of it. So I have trunk. And now when I drag point C, I see the values are confined to integers between 0 and 10. So Sketchpad 5 makes it very easy for you to create and use sliders.